everybody. What have I been doing? Not a lot. A little bit of working and a lot of sitting around. Uh, but that's alright because it's one of my favourite pastimes is sitting around. Uh, you've got to get quite good at sitting around doing nothing when you're a boater. Uh, because that's what it's all about. It's just lounging around taking it easy. And if you're a real go up and getter and you not, can't move like I can't then you need to find hobbies. Uh, but I'm quite happy trolling the internet and you know reading or what have you so reading sound like a bloody idiot don't I start that again good morning everybody you joined me on a pretty miserable July the 31st uh, and if this is supposed to be the height of summer well we're not in for much are we? So we've gone through the heat wave so a couple of weeks back now and of course that's put the country into severe drought. Uh, a lot of the canals have been closed so the Cheshire flight has been closed down to Kids Grove so not many people can go southbound from where I'm at. The Wigan area, the Wigan flight and Pools.Locks has been closed which is notoriously low on water all the time. Morning. So, from where I'm based in Northwich, you can't go north because Wigan's closed. You can't really go south because I think the Cheshire flight from King's Lock all the way down to Kids Grove, which is basically Air Castle Tunnel, I think, is basically shut uh, to try and conserve water. So, it doesn't bother me because I don't travel that far, but of course everybody else who does travel that far is getting bottled up now in this particular area. Uh, so you can still, I believe, go down the Middlewich branch and onto the Shropshire Union, and then you could go like, uh, turn right at Barbary's Junction to go to Chester or you can turn left and head down to Wolverhampton. I do believe there was a problem on the Ordon flight but I think it was a minor problem, I don't think it closed it. So, so yeah we've had the heat wave where we're all sat around at 40 degrees dying and uh, now it's bloody miserable. So what can you do? British weather for you uh, but we're all you know, natives to the country and we all know what it's like. So you take what you can get when you can get it and when you can't, you just live with it. That's a phil philosophical way of looking at life, isn't it? But no worries, at least it's not raining. <laughs> you might regret saying that. But I've got my big coat inside if it does start to rain. Uh, and I don't really mind rain so much as long as it's not cold. Cold and wet is miserable just wet is just well that's just yeah you can put up with that so yeah so we're cracking on we're heading up to Anderton we've been around uh, the Lion Salt Museum for the last week so just sort of give a little run been having to run the engine a little bit more because it's been so overcast for like nearly a week, week and a half now the solos have not been getting as much daylight as they have Prior to that, I've been more underneath the tree, which hasn't helped. Uh, so yeah, I've been having to run the engine a little bit just to keep on top of the batteries. Because uh, my paranoia has come back about my batteries. Uh, so, but more is better, I believe. The more charge I can put into them, you know. So I've been running a couple of hours a day. Whatever the solar is putting in. Uh, so if I run two hours a day, seven days, that's 14 hours a week. Uh, you know, and that's and then with the solar, you know, there will there is solar going in, but it's just not as as good. You know, once you get really bright sunshine, no cloud cover, no tree cover, bashing onto that solar panel, yeah, it really does well. Uh, but apart from that, sorry, I've just got uh, distracted coming across three more boats, and then there's a higher boat on the other side of the bridge and they won't know what they're doing so I'm just going to go for it and see what happens.
shame because it's such a miserable day although the sun is getting through now and the cloud cover is breaking so we're hoping i'm hoping with a bit of luck that it clears up and it can be a semi-decent day for them uh i've got to get a spot at anderton first to be honest with you so that uh is my biggest concern because with all the boats clogging up in this area it's made the boats moored all over the place where you wouldn't normally see them so yeah we'll do our best and see where we go Quickly, real. 
Senna on the lead because I just don't ultimately trust her not to jump off the back of the boat. Uh, she has history, she has done it before, uh, granted a few years back, but I've never really given her the opportunity to do it since. Uh, so, just look in my head. Another tree. So, yeah, she's very rare, rare. She comes on the back with me, but this is a relatively straight stretch of canal. Uh, I've allowed her to come back. I'm not going to get her back in yet when I'm more up, but she'll just mess about if I'm more up to be a pain so she'll get put back in when I stop. So we're here we're at Anderson, done a quick rubbish stop and I can see the boys. There they are. And looks like they've got Heidi from the narrowboat parrot behind them. So and it looks like there's more rings just through the bridge. Happy days. So we're on a winner. Can we give a shout out to the boys? Good morning. There's loads of space around the corner. Yeah? <laughs> I wasn't really on about for you, I was on about for all your visitors. You may note my other new addition is a little red ensign. I have also bought a big red ensign, but it's that big, it drags in the canal. But I either need to buy a flagpole to extend my tiller up a little bit, or something, I don't know, but I will look to do it, because it'll look great. Massive big flag blowing in the wind, hopefully. But yeah, a little red duster. Oh, grass there is this near. That's right, you have a wee minute of us. Don't you worry about me, thank you bum. Heidi's on the Kraken as usual. Tended to share it, but reality is. Oh, 